guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm Charlotte or Makeup by Charlie and yeah, welcome back to my channel as I've just said five seconds ago. <laughs> um, I hope you're all okay. Sorry for again the long pause in between my videos but it's just the way the cookie crumbles as Bruce Almighty says. Um, so yeah, in today's video I'm going to try out the BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop A. Is it Shop A? I always call it Shop A, but Sweet Shop Palettes. Um, I really wanted these when they first came in stock, uh, first came out, but I didn't manage to grab them the first time, I just couldn't afford them. So once they came back in stock in November, I want to say, or December, one of them, December, um, I grabbed them all. So yeah, I got all of them because the gorgeous the only one that I wasn't that bothered about was the sugar cone one because that's more neutral but I wanted the entire set so I could make the ice cream because I'm sad <laughs> so yeah if this is something that interests you please keep on watching and I'm gonna do some sort of look on my eyes um, and yeah oh yeah Albert says welcome back as well and you might think it looks the same but it is actually getting so much better the um, the actual saws gone it's just the red red skin now so I'm just waiting for that to heal but yeah from me and Albert thank you and keep on watching I'll just show you the swatches in the next what would you call it next next part So I've already primed my eyes, I've used the Beauty Bay Eye Primer in base 2 and yeah let me just check that there's no creases because nobody wants creases. I was really so, well not surprised, I've not really used many BH Cosmetics um, eyeshadow palettes before, have I used any? Uh, mm. I own the Mimosa one and I own the um, Blueberry one, but I don't know if I've actually abused them yet. That's when you know the uh, the addiction is real. So I don't know what I'm going to do today. Are we surprised? Are we surprised? So I'm going to go into the shade Cone or Cup first, which is this deep green here. And you know the drill outer corner map out my shape I'm just going to do a rounded shape today that's uh, that is pigmented that's just one dip Okay, BH Cosmetics, I see ya. I see ya. Take it a little bit higher on this side, but that's usually the case. Uh, and then I'm just going to wipe that brush off on a towel because I'm lazy. I'm going to go into the cotton candy one 
And then I'm going to go into the shade Sugar Plum, which is this shade here. Let's see if this works. I might have to do something. I think I might have to do a blue in between, in between them two, in between them two. I love this shade by the way, it's a gorgeous purple. And I've got that everywhere. Okay. Wipe that off again and then I'm going to go into the bubblegum palette. And then I'm going to go into the shade Sweetened, which is this blue. And we'll put that in between the two shades. Don't know what look I'm doing, I'm just making it up. Are we surprised? Yeah. No, we're not. So I take a bit more of the dark green, the Kona Cup shade, and I'm just going to put a little bit more on this outer edge because I've taken it up higher everywhere else. Pan it on bit by bit. That'll do. And then I'm going to go into a Morphe M456, just a clean brush, and I'm just gonna feather it over the edges. Just to start that blend. Just gonna move these palettes because I ain't got anywhere to frisk me about. There we go. Does anyone else do this? I just find it a lot easier when you're resting on the table. Just got a bit more balance. Tiny bit more pigmentation on this side. So let's start blending this out. Um, I'm going to go into the brush. Blue, 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 blue. Am I going to an M4506? Because. I love me an M4506, you know that. And I'm going to go into the shade Nutty next, which is this green. And try and blend out this deep green on the outer corner. Actually, I'll start on this eye. I don't know what, I'm going to start on my bad eye. Pfft, don't do that here. We don't take the smart way out and start with our worst eye. Okay. I might have to put a shade in between these two because there's a bit there's a bit of a harsh edge there. That's okay, we can sort this. Might mean just mixing a bit of both of them together, which is what I'm gonna do. Just to do that. Yeah, that's better. Again, same brush, just wiping it off. And then I'm gonna go into the shade Bubbles next, which is this blue. Beep. And I'm just gonna go over the center with this. And then on my inner corner, I'm going to go into the shade Connection. Oh no, Connection, Confection, which is this really light purple. Same brush again, just wiping off any of the other shades that I've got on it because 
I'm lazy. I'm just sweeping that round. This is very similar to my other look that I did. I'm sorry. I'm obviously a blue green sort of feeling right now. And then I'm gonna go on an even fluffier brush. I'm gonna go into a Morphe M514 if I can find it, because I did have it just a second ago. What's that? Although it needs a trim. Ooh. And I'm gonna go into the shade bit of guilty pleasure and a bit of soft serve, those two shades together. I'm gonna mix them up. This blends this green. If you wanted to learn things on this channel, sorry. <laughs> this is not the place for learning. This is for the place for watching and going, oh no. What's she doing? What is she doing? Okay. And then I'm going to go into an even smaller floor. Going to the Spectrum B10. And I'm going to go into the shade chili and bubbles which is those two shades here got palettes everywhere and then just go over the top of that over here I have to say, I'm really impressed with these sh shadows so far. Very nice, I'm glad I got them so far. Oops, I just made a boo boo then. Mind. Do you see where I'm going with this anyway? I think. <laughs> Whoopsies. I don't even know what I'm doing, but I just want to try as many shades as possible. Ones that apparently don't match. <laughs> um, right, no drill. Because I've gone from deep to light, from deep to light, the lighter colours covered up the deep colours, so I need to go over them again. God, I'm such a pig, excuse me. And this dress is driving me mad. And I actually don't look like I'm nobody's child today. I, I'm, I, I, you know, I look alright, I think. Minus my mate, but my skin's getting better, don't you think? This apart from this guy here yeah, and this guy. This guy's got well, this guy's just scarred, this guy's just scarred, and this guy's just scarred, but they're, they're not there anymore. So, yeah, I'm happy. You know the drill. Don't know what I'm doing. Keep on watching, I'll speed it up. Chills, can't wreck you.
So, I've um, finished. Well, I'm not finished, but I've put my halo eye on. And yeah, let's see what I'm going to put in the middle. I haven't used this palette and I haven't used this palette. I just, I don't think these are going to go. I think I'll have to do a separate video on these. I was thinking I really like this green, this green in the middle and then actually yeah I think sorry my camera just shut me off then at least I noticed anyways I was saying I really like this light green and I think I'm going to use these darker greens as well on the I'm going to put it in the centre and just blend it out Um, yeah can you see my though I don't no don't eat that He's making me laugh his face, he's like, and who do you think you are telling me what to do? Um, I'm going to use my Morphe little skinny brush, this is the 124 and I'm going to load this up. I'm going to put this on dry first just to see how it does. Which it does very nicely. What are you eating? You can hear you chomping at something. Milo. <laughs> I love how he looks at me and he's like, I don't care about anything. Yeah, I like that, that's nice. 
And then I'm going to go into the shade Treat. I'm just placing them down at the moment, I will blend them. And then I'm going to go into the shade Crunch. So the way I blend them, I just pat over the top and like scoop them across. Like that. It's good, it's good, it's good. Okay. I will blend the outer edges of my halo eye in a second. I think he's trying to get into that drawer. Can you pause out there? Are they? No. Okay, bye. It's nice to see you. Okay, uh, I'm liking how that's looking thus far. Uh, and then I'm going to go into a clean M456. Um, I'm going to go into the shade Nutty first. I'm just going to. And then I'm going to go into Konar Cup, which is that deep shade. And get that blended in. Okay, and then, same brush, let's see how I'm going to do this. Go into the shade Sugar Plum first. And just... Try and sort that out. Well, all that will do. That will do for now. I'll probably mess around with it, but you know me. I always like to do that. Um, trying to decide if I do the, yeah, I think I'm gonna, cause the, the shadows are really soft um, and buttery and they're quite kick up -y, so I'm gonna use, do a different, ugh, I'm gonna do it before I do my base. Question is, do I do orange underneath? 
Would that look weird? I can always try it, can't I? I don't, I don't see what now. Why do I use these? I'm trying to use as many of primer on underneath my eye. Is that Hmm, I think I'm going to put purple in my waterline. I think I'm going to do purples underneath. I'm going to go in with the, actually no, I'm not going in with that one. Change it up a bit. Yeah, I'm going to go in with my Barry Arm High Biz Eyeliner in the shade Dangerous. I'm just put this in my waterline. In with this Morphe M508. And I'm going to go into the cotton candy palette and I'm going to go into the shade light and airy which is this purple here I won't say this is like a purp this is a purple palette because it's not let me just wipe a bit of this fall out the way because it's confusing me a bit I'm just going to stamp that on. All the way across because... Well, I say all the way across. All the way to the middle. And then I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to go into the shade Carnival, which is a pink that we haven't used. A very neon pink. I'm very lazy with my inner corner. Oh, my lower lash line. I can never be bothered. And then I'm just going to get a clean. Clean. M506, if I can see it anywhere, which I can't. Where's it gone? Have I used it? I haven't. Uh, I have used it. What an idiot. Okay, I'll use my Mitchell fluffy brush MC2, I think it is. Yeah. And I'm just going to just diffuse the edge. Slightly. And then, on my inner corner, I'm going to use the shade Fluff and Sugar, which is these two here. I'm going to mix them up. And just And that's it. I'm going to put a little bit of eyeliner over the top, um, just so my lashes blend into one another. And yeah, I will be back soon to show you the finished look with my full face on. And we're back with lashes on. So what do we think? I have to say, as a final thought, I'm just going to pick two of them up. These are beautiful, really, really nice. The quality is nice, um, the mats work really nicely, the shimmers are beautiful. I'm impressed. Yeah, really impressed. Um, the only downside I can see is obviously because they're eight, um, I'd, I'd have preferred, they've got four equal, so four shimmers and four mats. I'd have preferred more mats than shimmers, so maybe three shimmers and five mattes or something like that or even two shimmers and six mattes I prefer more mattes over shimmers because um, that's the basis of what I make my looks and um, so potentially a, a few more deeper shades um, like this one for example 
uh, maybe like a deep purple I know it's meant to be like cotton candy and stuff but just a, that's the only thing I could say as a negative is that I'd have preferred maybe a few more mattes but all in all yeah really good these retailed for $18 each so in pounds what's that about £15 for an £8 palette it's not too bad um, I think that they're super cute I like the whole like I've said before when you line them up together they make a whole ice cream I think that is super adorable um, yeah I'm really glad I've got them in my collection um, if you want me to do any particular looks with just one palette comment down below which palette um, the ones that do speak out to me the most are the blue one I do like the blue one but obviously I want to use uh, the cherry one and the orange sorbet one because I haven't used those two yet so comment down below if you want me to see want to see me use these as well um, yeah because I'm excited I really like it so yeah if you enjoyed today's video can you please like and comment down below if you like my content in general please subscribe um, it means a lot to me and it really really helps me um, more than you probably realize and yeah if you could please consider subscribing it would be absolutely fab I like thumbing, I like thumbsing up people so yeah thank you again guys and I will see you in the next video